I'm in a sea of notions. Is this a dream? Hello, welcome. I'm Bagley. I'm the copycat stitch on Instagram and YouTube. This is Annie. She's an actual cat that thinks she's a lap dog. So I wanted to make a special video today because I definitely wasn't planning on making this video, but my mom wanted to go thrifting. And obviously I agreed, I love thrifting. I haven't been in a long time. So we drove to Ithaca and we uh, went to four stores in Ithaca, three thrift stores and one antique store. And I found so much cool fibercraft stuff. Like I can't even wrap my head around it. And I just wanted to share it with someone that would appreciate it. So I thought I would just do a kind of thrifting haul video so I can show all of this neat stuff that I found at these four stores. So the first thing I want to show is actually, well it's two things, the first two things I want to show are things that I knew I was going to come home with. Um, they are, there's a couple Singer antique sewing machines that my mom got for me from a friend of hers so they were for free. I didn't get them at the thrift stores, but I knew uh, when I met her today, she was gonna hand them off to me and I'm pretty excited. Um, and so I haven't really looked at either of the sewing machines very closely yet. I just got home from my thrifting. Um, this one is very rough. It's clearly meant to be in a table, but there is no longer a table because the bottom is only hinges. Um, it's pretty rusty. It's, I believe was pedal operated, but there's not a lot left to it, but it's still, I'm, it's probably gonna be decorative for me anyway, cause uh, I'm not an expert in res restoration and this one looks like it would be a pretty rough job to restore, but it's still really neat to have. Like I said, it was free. Excuse me. So this one, is the second one. This one still has its little casing. Um, <laughs> so the second machine, also from the same person, um, has this cool casing. So it doesn't latch correctly. Oh, there we go. It still has the logo on the front. Pretty dinged up around the edges, but still pretty cool. Oh, this is so neat. So I'm definitely going to look it up because, it, I, like all singers, it's got the serial number on it. Um, it looks like it's missing a lot of little bits and pieces. And this one also hinges up. I wonder what the original situation was for this one. Maybe I'll get more information later. But this one is electric. Still got the leather band on it. I wonder if it would work. Oh my gosh, I would have to look up a lot about how to uh, take care of it before I even try that. But it's got, well, okay, I guess, <laughs> I guess it will not work as is. That's pretty funny, but <laughs> still pretty cool. I wonder if it's possible to, to have somebody look at it. I don't know, that's really funny. Uh, this is great. It's very pretty either way. So I think the easiest way for me to think about it is to talk about the four purchases separately. So at the first stop, uh, I got all this stuff for $8, including the bag, which is crazy. Um, I got three, oops, wooden picture frames. I love solid wood picture frames. I got, this bag of threads, spools of thread. I got a bunch of circular nylon needles. Um, vintage nylon circulars are my favorite. I have so many of them and I always want more. Um, most of the ones I have are either Marsha Lynn, this brand, or the Susan Bates. Um, I think they're called Circulons. I love them. I've never seen this kind before from Boy. I wonder if they're awful because <laughs> not many of them have survived, but they're like based on baleen. But there's like a whole blurb on the back about how they're not real baleen, obviously, because they're made in like the 80s or something. But still, I got 
six sets of nylon circulars, which is amazing. And uh, oops, dig down to the bottom here. Okay, well I got a couple little loops of buttons. I love vintage buttons, but I've found that I only use them if I have a set. I have huge bins full of loose buttons, but most of them there's only two or three, if that many, and they never get used. So I love buying like a whole bunch of vintage ones that I can use on a dress or on a blouse or something like that. And there's more of those to come. And then I got some sewing patterns. I honestly don't sew as much as I would like, but I have such a collection of sew. It's like so hard for me to turn them down when they're like 50 cents or a dollar or whatever, you know. So all of these things, basically each of these, the buttons, the bag of thread, the picture frames, the knitting needles, and the sewing patterns were each marked for $1 a piece, which would have been a great deal as is. It probably would have been about $20 but my cashier was one of my favorite types of people and that is thrift store employees that don't feel like counting and just go, eh, that's about $3 worth. So that's what she did. I got that whole bag of stuff for $8 total, uh, which is really cool to me. It, it's a really, really great deal and I, it was a good start to my day, right? Because that was the first store I started at, like I said. So the second store I got a little bit less, but still some good finds. I got some vintage zippers. I always stock up on zippers that I find at thrift stores because I'm never sure when I'm gonna need one and if I do need one, I end up paying too much for it. I got some just facing tape, which I probably will never need, but it was 10 cents, I mean. And then a cover button kit. I love some covered buttons. I love buttons of all sorts, but I love how cute covered buttons are, especially. I also got this thread organizer at that same store. This was $3 and it's wall mountable, which is what I plan on doing with it. I do have a little one, but it's already full up of thread and I did get some more thread today and it would be nice to have room to grow. And the last thing I got at that store was an issue of Simply Crochet, which is not vintage at all, but I do like Simply Crochet and it was like a dollar and it's only from December 2019. So I'll look through it later. I love to keep things, if you haven't noticed. I love to accrue things and just have extra stuff on hand. At the third store I went to, I literally only got one thing, but it is many things, and this is the one I'm most excited to look at. Uh, I haven't really delved into it myself yet. <laughs> I got uh, sewing stuff. This was one Rubbermaid bin jam-packed full of somebody's sewing supplies. This was $14.99 sold as a set and it did not take much for me to just pick this up and pay for it and i barely looked through it at the store i openly opened it up and saw a couple things and thought yep that's definitely worth it i definitely want to dig through this in more detail at home and be a little bit more surprised by it so this is actually mostly the nexus for wanting to film this video because this to me is like the coolest kind of thing this is the, i love this kind of stuff and uh nobody else in my life shares that enthusiasm right now. So I'm hardly gonna dig through this with my husband who will pay no attention. So, behold. Okay. This is one of the items that I did see that I was really excited about is a button holder. And I have no idea if this will work with any of the machines I have, uh, but it's really cute and it's worth a shot. There is a lot of um, already it's, this looks like a UFO to me. Uh, piping, filling. This is, they piped some. I don't know what this was, but I will probably extract the filling from this and then uh, put the cabbage in my cabbage bin. Smaller piping. Ooh, so many zippers. Guys. Guys! Oh, here's the instructions for the button holder. This is great. 
Okay. Zippers, zippers, zippers. Why do I love zippers so much? I don't even sew that much. I just, I, I love the notions. Do I love the notions more than I love sewing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like, I don't know why I said that like a question. I'm pretty sure that I genuinely love the tools and the supplies more than I love sewing, but it doesn't matter. This is so fun. Okay. Uh, all sorts of elastic, all sizes of elastic. Excuse me. A little bit of some sparkly polyester black fabric. Some flexi lace seam binding. So I guess it's like elastic lace. Hook and eye closures. More elastic. Fusible interfacing. More fusible interfacing. Velcro, very strong Velcro, I don't know. Wow, that's like an inch, two inches wide. Well, I'm sure it can come in handy. Um, some ribbon, more Velcro. More elastic. Bias tape. More of that elastic lace. That piping is just a cat toy. Girls, that's not healthy. Don't do that. Okay. This looks like user manuals for our mission manual. I wonder what this works with. Micro serger? I feel like that can't work really well, right? It'd be cool if it could. So it's a little tiny serger attachment. I have no idea what sort of machines it works with. Well, probably, you know, this machine. Fusible interfacing. And several attachments and discs for different vintage singer machines. Again, I have several vintage singers. I have no idea what works with any of them, but maybe these will go with the ones that I have. A couple more of the elastic lace. Cut out pattern pieces. Oh, pretty cute actually. Oh no, I'm just kidding. I thought it was for the blouse. It's for the pants. Whatever. More for my collection. So the last store we went to was a little antique store. This was the only one that wasn't a thrift store and I've been there before and I was excited because they usually have some like old fabric and buttons. It's one of those places that is just absolutely packed to the gills. You feel like you can't move or your purse is going to knock over something valuable and everything's on top of other things and there's baskets upon baskets of stuff. So we looked for probably half an hour. I feel like I only scratched the surface, but I, I you know, it, it, you can only take so much. So I just got a bunch of vintage sewing stuff. Again, um, this is probably just for decoration, but vintage spool of a bunch of thread. It's very discolored thread. I picked out this little box as I was shopping to put all the little notions I was picking out in. It's just a little green quilted box, but I knew it would match. <laughs> I picked out this doily. They had a whole bunch of little doilies and hand embroidered 
uh, dish towels and handkerchiefs and all sorts of things like that and I I didn't know where to start but I do love little doilies and things and I thought this one was pretty and kind of matched some of the ones that I have from my great-grandmother anyway so I picked it up got a little hook and eye selection this spool of thread which they had many many spools of thread but I don't know I just love pink this one I just thought was so pretty and why not and again, the owner of this store was one of those that was kind of like, eh, why count? So she gave me a great deal on this stuff. I think for the whole thing I paid maybe $15. I don't, I don't quite remember. Um, and lastly, all of these buttons. I can't. Again, I'll only really use vintage buttons if I have enough for my project. So I got these sets because there's so many of each. So to sum up my thrifting haul, I got a 1910 Singer sewing machine for free, a 1927 Singer sewing machine for free. At the first store, I spent $8.15 on vintage nylon knitting needles, picture frames, thread, buttons, and some sewing patterns. At the second store, I spent $9.98 on vintage sewing supplies, a thread organizer, and a back issue of a crochet magazine. At the third store, I spent $16.19 and I got that box of miscellaneous sewing supplies, including all of those vintage sewing machine attachments and piping and edging and things. And at the last store, I spent $15.12 and I got the little green quilted box, a bunch of sets of vintage buttons, some vintage thread, and that handmade doily. At the end of the day, I brought home all of this for under $50. All of these vintage fiber craft supplies and tools cost me total $49.44. Thanks for checking out my thrift store haul today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stick around and check out some of my other videos and I've got more similar stuff to come.